Oh my days, today is really, really cold. So uh, if you're watching my video yesterday, I'm sure you have an idea of where I'm going. Today I'm not really tired, but uh, I just need a snack, something to eat. So I'm just going over to that coffee, uh, coffee shop I went to yesterday. But again, you know what? Today I have another fantastic video for you. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to take what you've developed on your local machine and then export it to a web hosting account. I'm all right. Um, could I have one croissant? Yep. And one Americano, please. Is that to take away? Take away. There you know, the crazy thing is uh, the coffee that I bought yesterday, I actually didn't drink it. So. I'm going to make sure that this time I drink it. But anyway, you know what? I wanted to say to uh, everyone that watched my video yesterday and to everyone that uh, also left me a comment, thank you very much. You know, it really uh, encourages me to uh, make more videos. So thank you so much. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do is to show you how to start and stop your websites from running from local by flywheel so let me show you how to do that so over here these are the three websites i'm running so let's say you want to stop this one right here so all you have to do is to come over here top right and just click on stop site so what it does is it stops that website so that means it's not running anymore because you don't want to be running all these uh, websites because it may be taking a lot of memory and resources on your computer so that's all you want to do and then if you want to start it again you just come over here to the top right click on start here and then click on view site and then you're able to view the site all right so carrying on from yesterday so let's say you've been working on your website in the case in my case is this one right here so let's say you've been working on the website you've done all your changes you've added all your plugins all that stuff and now it's ready for the website to go to an actual hosting company because remember this is running on our local machine but we want this on a hosting server all right so over here i'm just going to click here to just take a quick peek into our website so i'm going to click here on view site okay so this is the website now some of you may be familiar with this because this is the website that i created in the course called web design formula so pretty much uh, this is the complete website so this is the site that we need to move over to the hosting company. Now over here, I have a 14-day uh, trial on um, Flywheel and this is the hosting company. So what I'm going to do now is to pretend that this is now a hosting company. And of course it is a hosting company, but this is just the trial version. So what you want to do is to go to the, uh, to the company that hosts your website and just install a blank WordPress install okay so i'm gonna click here and take a look at our site and here we go so this is just the blank wordpress install okay and nothing on it so what you want to do to move this site that you've been working on your local machine onto this one which is your hosting uh server and you can see by taking a look here at the top this is maketa.flywheels.com this is our hosting company okay and this one here with a dot local is our local machine all right so there's one thing that you want to do first of all on this website log into your wordpress admin dashboard now go over here to your dashboard now you want to install a plugin called all-in-one wp migration to be honest there's a lot of uh plugins out there that uh, can um, back up your website and then install it on a uh, on a new uh, server or a new website but this one right here is the one that i've been using for a very long time i i mean it's highly recommended okay so what you want to do is come over here to your plugins click on add new and then you want to search for all-in-one all-in-one wp migration so normally when you type in all-in-one wp it shows up here so this is the plugin that you want to install so in this case i've already installed mine so you can see here it says active okay so you want to install yours and then activate it right next 
you'll get an entry over here on the left, okay? So this is where you want to package your website ready to take it over to your hosting company. Okay, so, so of course what you wanna do is to export this. So you wanna come over here, click on export. Right, so here it asks you export to so what I normally do is I just click on file, okay? So this now gets exported onto your actual website. So as you can see here, it's taking a while to, uh, to do this. So the reason why I highly recommend this plugin is because it's pretty much flawless, okay? Uh, since I've been using it, it does a fantastic job, but I do need to mention something very important. Now, the free version takes you up to about, I'm not sure how many uh, megs it is, but it's basically a um, uh, very small size. But if you have a massive website that you've been working on and you'd like to migrate that, there's a paid version. So I'm not sure what the limit is. I'll double check on the limit and maybe I'll just add it in the uh, video description below. But for small websites, pretty much, you know, it, it works flawless. Now, the other thing as well that I like about this plugin is it will package everything. And when I mean everything, I mean everything. Plugins, themes, uh, images, everything, your settings, pretty much everything that you've done on your website is going to be identical once we import it uh, on the actual server itself. So it's very, very good. Now over here, uh, as you can see, it now says size 124 meg. No problem, you can download it to your local machine. So I'm gonna click here on download. And now it's being downloaded now onto my computer. Now it's a good idea that you download it onto your computer because uh, just in case something happens, you know you have it on your computer, you can put it on an external drive and so on. All right, so now that we have this uh, in place, we don't need to worry about our local um, web website anymore. The next stage is to come over here to our server, okay? So again, come over here to your dashboard, plugins, Install, in fact, I need to add a new one. Add new plugin. And then I'm just gonna, again, all in one. Click on install now. Now it's installing. It's pretty much the identical plugin, similar plugin from uh, how I did it on, a, on my local machine. Same thing over here. Activate the plugin. So now it's activated. Now, you, again, you can see the entry over here on the left side. This time we want to import what we exported uh, a few moments ago. So I'm gonna come over here, click on import, import from file, okay? Here it is, double click on it. And now it's importing that uh, website that we've been designing on our local machine. And it doesn't really take a while, but of course, if your website is massive, it's gonna take longer as well. And it also depends with your internet connection. All right, so we're almost there. And to be honest, you know, using this plugin has really made things very, very easy for me. Uh, I normally design most of my uh, stuff on my local machine because it just makes everything faster. Now, uh, there was someone that commented uh, yesterday in the first video that I did that sometimes uh, local, by, um, local by Flywheel is a bit buggy. Absolutely true. Uh, last year when I was using it, it was just going crazy. Sometimes I couldn't access my website. But now since I've been using it, it's, you know, it seems quite stable. All right, so I think everything is done now. I'm on 100% here. All right, so the input process will override your website, blah, 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 fine. Because remember, this is a basic WordPress install, so we don't really care about overriding everything that anything that we have here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on proceed. So this now is taking all that data that was packaged initially from our, uh, from our local website. It's gonna be packaged and then it's being added now onto this site on the server. Okay, so now we're on at 68%. And again, as I mentioned before, this shouldn't take a long time because uh, it just depends on how big your website is. So we're almost done here. And uh, okay, so there we go. Uh, your site has been uh, imported successfully. Click on finish. So now, now take a look here at my URL. Okay, I'm not doing any mag <laughs> magic tricks here. So over here on the top, if I just, get rid of this and just go to my main site, we should see an identical website similar to what I had on my local machine. And there we go, everything works fine. So if I click here on about us, you'll notice that, you know, everything is in place, all my images are there, 
all my settings are fine. If I click on services, again, you'll notice that everything works fine. Even if I had uh, some videos here, they would play as normal. If I click here uh, on this video, it's going to play like that. If I go onto the blog, Again, same thing. If I click on any of these blogs here, it's going to take me straight to the actual blog. And because I created this using uh, our theme builder, everything is in place. So this is really, really awesome. You can see here we have our sign up newsletter, our colors here for our comment area. Everything looks perfect. So this is now the, uh, the actual website on the server. Okay. So let me just do a quick demo one more time for you, just so that you can see that this is for real. Okay, so this is the website that had our normal WordPress install. If I click on it now, you will notice that now it has this website. And this website, of course, it's similar to the local one. And we can see that it's local, it's wdf.local. So again, I'm just gonna delete that. And there we go. So now we have two identical websites. All right, so this is how you take your designed website from your local machine to your web hosting company. If you have any questions, leave your questions in the comments box below. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell notification. Until next time, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.